Hello, I'm going on to do a reading for the collective. There's just going to be a general energy check-in, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave what does not. Don't make something fit your situation if it doesn't fit or does not make sense for you. Okay, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm just going to shuffle and then I'll pull the energy around the reading and pull the reading. Affirmation for positive change. Okay, and then we'll get one from here. Humor. Okay. Um, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Okay, so I guess the affirmation for positive change is choosing to focus on the lighter side of situations um, or the lighter side of, um, I guess, even like when things could be difficult or when I, I'm not talking about like, um, if it, obviously, if there's an actual... Like somebody passing then I'm not saying to like find humor in that but um obviously looking on the lighter side of situations when you're going through a transition or going through a situation where you're having to go through a large change or shift in your life um trying to find the purpose and the um the could be like the humor that's happening within the situation a lot of times when we're going through things that are really difficult there's a lot of like um kind of like humor within the situation like a lot of stuff happening where you're like really shocked by what's happening but it's almost like it's like at least in my experience it's like almost like really I find myself laughing really hard because I'm like I can't even like a lot of times I'd be like, it would be so, it'd be so strange or like, <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to put this in words. It would, what would be happening would be so mind blowingly like out of the ordinary that like you would just have to laugh at the situation or like make a joke out of it because there was no other there's nothing else you can do besides like make it be funny and so I think like bringing that into the situation makes it sometimes a lot easier to deal with um and then I feel like that brings a lot of positive change to move forward if you're not like looking at the situation like this is like a really scary thing and I can't actually believe this is happening or like looking at it like this is like a really scary thing and I'm gonna find like like it's actually like kind of like like laughing at what's happening because it's just like so <sighs> like you would never think whatever whatever's happening would be happening so you kind of have to laugh at least that's what's happened before in in like in a lot of situations that I've been in. I've just had to found myself like really laughing at what was happening. Um, I don't know if anybody can relate to that, but a lot of times I would just like just be laughing so hard because I'd be like, this is just insane. Like I can't even handle this. Um, so, um, 
yeah, I don't know if anybody's ever been through something like that. But I guess finding that uh, lighter side in um, tough transitions. Okay. Just started raining really, really hard. Healing out. Hmm. Okay, so I think um, there is something you're, you're coming up as being very stable in um, the physical world. There's something that has to do with either a job or something creative could be a creative project or just something you're really passionate about that you do. And I feel like this is something you stay really focused on because I feel like um, this could be somebody or this could be you. There was something around, um, that one did not come right, okay. There was something around starting over in some way or going towards taking a risk or looking at taking a risk or choosing to go, like, take a leap of faith towards something that, I feel like, um, let me clarify, can you clarify the fool? Um, I feel like this is something you could have been really stuck in your head around and this might have been going, like taking a leap of faith towards something that you feel like would have, would, this could be something that would really fulfill you. But, okay, so I feel like you've been through a really difficult time in your life or you're coming out of, um, what comes after the 10? Okay, yeah, so I feel like you could be right now coming out of a really difficult time in your life or you're going through a transition where you're coming out of something that was really hard for you to go through. And so there's a lot of, like, focusing on work, focusing on 
having a grasp on things that you can control or have um, a sense of control over. Although um, this might actually be what is really fulfilling to you right now because it could uh, be what takes you out of that feeling really trapped in your head or that energy where you're kind of like ruminating or stuck in your thoughts. I feel like this is something that you're wanting to move on from and um, come out of. I feel like there's a lot of like being in this cycle of going in circles around a situation where you are wondering why something happened or why something turned out the way it did or what could have happened differently and this, this could be something that just repeats itself over and over and over again so I feel like to get out of that cycle there's something you started and this has to do with work or mastering a craft or coming into um, a lot of skill around a craft or around a job um, that is bringing in a lot of stability when it comes to work or comes to fulfillment around um, stability, work, um, uh, craft, something that brings in stability around work or craft. And this could be something new that you started or this could be something that you've um, put a lot of time and effort into going towards that you have just started, that um, you are in some type of leadership roll around and I feel like this is what a lot of your focus is going into to get you out of the space in your head where you are stuck in your thoughts so that you can move into more of a calm time or a calmer time where you don't have to be in that um, mental energy this could be taking you out of that we have a lot of swords so I feel like that's like that's like heavy air so a lot of like a lot of thoughts where you're stuck in your thoughts and wanting to come out of that by going towards more of a practical or um, more of a grounded in reality or like a heavy earth. Um, so more like tangible, grounded, um, more realistic, practical, what you can see, what you can touch um, type of energy is what you're wanting to be focused on. Okay, so I'm going to clarify. Okay, so I do feel like this could have been around um, whatever this is that you're stuck in your head with. We have the king and the queen of pentacles. So this could have been in a relationship that um, needed a lot more uh, focus when it came to feeding into your own needs so that you could feed into uh, the needs of each other. Maybe more focus on independence or focusing on like the your own self or more like self-worth within oneself um individually mastering the uh like like the um skill of focusing on independence so that you could uh feed that self-love not only to yourself but into the uh could be like the relationship that this this was or this i feel like this is something that you're trying to maybe work on or you want to go towards again, but it's not, there's like a need to work on yourself or self-reflect before you go back towards it. I feel like this person that you're wanting to go towards is not, is like not having that right now. Um, so you may be just like really full of ideas right now when it comes to creativity or that's like a, what a lot of your focus is on. You might also be into like, more of a promiscuous type of energy when it comes to like um the relationships that you're uh wanting to invest in like not very serious or committed type of energy like more of them could be um you're like fulfilled being single or in a more single type of commitment like could be like one night stands or things that you can move on from really quickly not having to invest in um I do see you're like 
focus is on planting new ideas or new opportunities that will grow into large investments or this is what you're really fulfilled in doing there is a relationship that you're wanting to go towards but i feel like you're you're having to put a lot of focus into self-reflection working on yourself or inner work or having to go into a sense of having to get to know yourself on a very deep level to um, reapproach this connection or you know that it will be cut off or there will not be any type of fulfillment or a new start. There's just going to be like the energy of whoever you're going towards like cutting off this communication or this connection before it can start in any way. So there could be the energy of you mastering some sort of self mastery around around self around the self or with temperance and the hermit there may be you trying to focus on self but also being in like this player type of energy so like trying to focus on yourself but also trying to be like uh really into indulging in some sort of way this could be in um like indulging in any way or I mean, they're two opposite energies. Like, one's really indulging in, like, the 3D, the, like, um, lavish lifestyle, like, drinking and excessive, um, like, going out to, like, drink and spend and, um, like, have one-night stands and all that stuff. And then the, on the other end is, like, wanting to go inward and self-reflect. So... And I'm not seeing like any sense of like, okay, so then we have temperance. So maybe trying to balance those two energies or like trying to keep those in balance. But I see that the one, the path that's more clear in this connection is the one of like wanting to be more of like in this promiscuous energy. And the path that's not as cleared is the one of self-reflection. So I feel like you're more focused on your independence and um what is happening in the physical 3d than the self-reflection so um i feel like the sense of like mastering um any form of sensory on the self is not something you're fully focused on yet or maybe this connection is not something you're fully focused on going towards or there's indecision around this fulfillment of this connection or maybe there's just like not a sense of um, clarify the two of swords. Yeah, so I feel like you're just undecided about whether you want, like, success when it comes to whoever or whatever this is in this connection. But I do feel like it's something you're up in your head about. You have a lot of thoughts around this situation maybe it could be about 